Hello YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to install texture hacks on your 3DS. This is uh, the simplest ROM hack there is. Now I'm going to make it more simple than it is. I'm making this tutorial uh, since there wasn't many tutorials like this for 3DS, Pokemon Oras, the latest Pokemon games and there was one but he didn't do a good job explaining it. It was confusing and annoying too. <coughs> Alright, <clears throat> so you're gonna need these files which will be posted in the description. And Brain Dump is the homebrew app uh, that dumps your, decrypts your CIA fi uh, fi game, Pokemon game. These are the three programs you need. Uh, this is uh, a hack pack that you need. This is the, uh, the textures we're gonna install, Ashes Green Ninja, which is the simplest, it only has two files. So just extract it, extract each archive to a separate folder. And it's gonna extract it in on my uh, other monitor, so I'm just gonna drag and drop. Make it more simple by putting it here. Alright, uh, you're gonna <coughs> install Brain Dump into your 3DS by dragging and dropping it onto your homebrew. Uh, 3ds folder <coughs> sorry uh, and after that you're gonna go on your 3ds so now that you're in your homebrew menu just uh, launch up brain dump which is this top, it has no icon, so it's a uh, normal red 3DS. So launch brain dump, hit A, and select your target. Uh, it's gonna be po your Pokemon game. So it's a fresh, non-modified copy of it. So hit A on Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. It's gonna take 45 minutes, around 45 minutes for me. I tried earlier and took about 40 or 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes after this has finished, so press start to exit. And after this, after this process has been completed, uh, you can take out your SD card and put it in your PC, and uh, we can go on from there. So, reboot and shut down your 3DS. And uh, I'll see you there. Okay, on your computer, you, uh, you have your SD card plug in, plugged in. <coughs> and uh, open up File Explorer, and open up your SD card. And there should be a new file called... Uh, this is the title ID of your game, .cxi. The .cxi file is uh, decrypted from the CIA. So you just cut and paste. And we want to make a new folder called Pokemon Omega Ruby in, my, in this case. Just paste it in. And while that's moving, you just minimize that. And uh, just wait. So you already had brain dump, brain dump installed. So we don't, we don't need that. We need to have, we need to get. Open up Neo X and Y files. Just we don't need all of this. We only need pack hacks. And open up 3ds Explorer. Uh, Every will occur. Just click continue. Minimize that too. The CSCXI file, drag, drop. These three files will pop up. X header, ignore that. Yeah, EXEFS. Right click, save. Pokemon Omega Ruby, select that folder you just made. And EXEFX. Okay. And uh, you can see it popped here. Wait a couple seconds to make sure it's. Fully completed. Go to ROMFS, right click save, uh, ROMFS, 
you, you don't need to uh, write the dot bin, it already chooses for you. And this, if you click save and OK, it's gonna it's gonna come up with not responding. And uh, gonna take a while, but not too long. Uh, you can see here, it, yeah, my cursor was frozen, but it's not responding. And just wait. You can see that RAMFS has been in, its, been in its place. Just wait for this. You don't want to force quit it. Wait, wait a couple of seconds after it's completed. Okay, now you can exit this. You have uh, these three files. The CXI, you can delete that, do whatever you want. But I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, open up Neo X and Y. Oh, don't, uh, yeah, open up Neo X and Y. Oh, never mind. Wow. Oh, PK Hex 3D. I mean, PK 3DS. Open up this file, this application. After you got this, you're gonna open up your Omega Ruby, drag and drop your uh, EXFS FX into your PK 3DS. Uh, application unpack yes it's unpacked okay I'm gonna make a new folder called exefs uh, control click control left click logo icon banner dot bin and code dot bin uh, don't highlight that and we're gonna drag and drop into es exefs Go here, you have these four, 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 four files. Uh, drag and drop the code dot bin. And uh, the code dot, you can exit this, it's been decrypted. So this is the only important part of the uh, EX EFS. So you're gonna, depending on your game, in the, yeah, in the code file name, in, Mine is Omega Ruby, you're gonna highlight this. I'm gonna leave it in the descriptions. Highlight it, highlight it from the description. And uh, right click, select all, and rewrite the uh, extensive file name. Yes, if you don't have the dot bin showing, make sure you go to uh, uh, in your uh, Windows, press start and folder. Settings, folder options. It's called folder options. Just type that in start menu. View. I'm gonna click. Oh, uh, uncheck hide extensions for known file types. This is really important so you can over, uh, rewrite, rename this. Okay. After all this, you're gonna wanna go to. Neo X and Y files and go to ROM FX FS extractor. And click that, run. Okay, once you have this, click open and <clears throat> ROM F yeah, select your file, open, and hit go. And click OK, exit that, that out. Okay, now you have uh, all of these files. You're gonna want to go to A, zero, zero, and eight. This is your uh, important file. This includes all the Pokemon models and textures. So, open up Garp Tool. You want to leave it in its uh, in, it, in the desktop in its folder. Otherwise, it's gonna pop an error. Run. And drag and drop this into here and click there. This is really important. Make sure you uh, hold control when clicking process. So I'm holding control and click process and you can let go of control. This may vary on uh, different Pokemon games. Click OK 
and keep this open. And open this up. Ask this Greninja. Put it here. We're gonna search up the number. In this case, it's 7131 for Greninja. We're gonna drag and drop this onto here. You don't need to hit control or hold control in this case. It will, uh, since it's, it has one file, you don't need to do that. Just click process. Delete, yes. It's gonna mess up if you don't do it. Okay, now this has been completed. You're gonna wanna search for 7133. Drag and drop. Process, yes. The compressed file. Okay. And you can clear that. Go all the way to the bottom where that is. And just gonna copy and paste this. Uh, yes, copy and replace. This replaces as uh, replaces the normal Greninja textures and model with the as as Greninja textures and model. Just back that. Uh, go back and exit this. In Gark Tool, you're gonna want to drag and drop this. Uh, you're gonna make sure you did it correctly. Yep, I did it correctly. Hit process and compressed file. Okay. Drag and drop. You can check again if you want to. If you're paranoid. Uh, process. Compressed file. Okay. Now you can go back. Drag and drop the A underscore. Do here. Hit process. And it's, uh, it's doing it. Now uh, it's gonna take a uh, really long time if you don't hit control, hold control. When I told you, uh, when I told you to. So it's, just wait until it pops this message. Okay. Now you can uh, exit the scarf tool. You can delete this. Delete it. Don't remember it like I did. Uh, remove it. And. Uh, Remove this eight, which is crucial. You, you're gonna have to and rename it. Control A to highlight it all. And eight. Yes. As you can see, uh, you uh, completed this. Go back and uh, just rename this. Get rid of the underscore. Uh, okay. Put it down here. Open this. Go to pack hack. And find yeah, ROM FS Builder EXE. Now it's gonna look like the same as, same layout, layout as Extractor. Uh, open. Scroll down, it's gonna select the folder so it's in this window. Uh, go to where you saved it Pokemon Omega Ruby and ROM ROM FS. Sorry, something just popped up here. Okay, and click go. Alright, it's gonna prompt to save. Once you get this prompt, you're gonna save in the correct location and the with the correct file name. So sorry about the dog. So you're gonna highlight this. You're gonna wanna do the exact same thing as I do. And uh, since there's no dot r rom fs in here paste it save it's gonna load exit this out and you have these two folders I mean files uh, this one here and this one here 
gonna cut and paste it here these two and copy it into your hands now my hands is empty because I just created this hands folder but uh, pretend that's already not there this should be your SD card if you're new to this right click new folder hands now if you go here and paste it So you press, yeah, go to hands, so, uh, select your game title, Mega Ruby, A, select target, alright, this is important, make sure you select, uh, make sure it's focus first, focus, uh, alright, select USA, just leave that blank, Code yes and ROM FS yes. This is the goes it checks your hands for you just made in the two files we just put through. You can see the configuration here. if you see the bottom screen, you won't have to uh, go through this configuration again unless you hold the L on your 3S, the L trigger. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna keep it as no. Click OK, press A. And uh, this is a new copy of uh, Omega Ruby, so I'm just gonna go through this. Oh, um, yeah, since this is a new copy, I can't show you uh, Greninja. Uh, <clears throat> this is my, my fault, uh, but I, I promise it works. Yeah, you can. You, uh, if you already have a uh, evolved Greninja, it evolves into. Uh, it has the texture just as Greninja. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, more will be coming soon. If you have, uh, if you want to get like custom ROM hacks, you can play through that, play through that. Just leave a comment. Although the process is similar, but okay.